Welcome to Crafty Crochet Castle. Are you looking for last minute personalized Christmas gifts or ornaments? I have a perfect one right for you. This is my photo snowman ornament. In this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet this personalized snowman ornament. This is a very simple and beginner friendly crochet pattern. We are going to crochet this ornament in three parts, the head, body and the hat and finally sew them all up together. I hope you would crochet this along with me. To crochet this photo snowman ornament, I'm using yarn in two colors. This is Red Heart Super Saver Worsted Weight Yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, scissors, blunt tip needle. The optional materials are polyfill stuffing and stitch markers. First, let's work on the front side of the head of the snowman. So I'm taking my white color yarn. I'm going to start with a slip knot and chain 15. To do a chain, I'm going to yarn over and pull through this loop. This is my first chain. In this way, I'm going to do 14 more chains so that we have a total of 15 chains. Now I'm going to carefully do a slip knot on the first chain that we made to form a ring. While you are forming a ring, make sure your chain is not twisted. So now we have formed a ring. This is going to act as a frame. Now let's work on row 2. In this row, I'm going to start off with chain 2 and I'll be working 24 double crochet into this ring. To do a double crochet, I'll yarn over. I'll insert my hook inside this ring, I yarn over and pull through. Now I'll have a total of 3 loops on my hook, I'll yarn over, I'll pull through 2 loops. Now I'll have 2 loops remaining on my hook, I'll yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is my first double crochet. I'm gonna make 23 more double crochet so that we'll have a total of 24 double crochet in this ring. So now we have completed 24 double crochet. I will join on top of the chain 2 that we made earlier using a slip stitch to finish this row 2. We have completed the front side of the snowman. If you have more space in between this, make sure to adjust your double crochet so that you have a perfect frame over here. I'm gonna finish off over here leaving a tail. Now let's start working on the back side of the head of the snowman. So I'm taking my white color yarn. I'll do a magic circle. Now I'll do a chain one and I'll start working on the row one of the back side of the snowman. So I'll do 12 double crochets into this ring. After completing 12 double crochet, I'm going to pull this tail to close this and I'm going to join 
on top of the chain one over here using a slip stitch i finished my row one now let's start working on row two for row two i'll start off with a chain two and i will do two double crochets in each stitch across this row will have a total of 24 double crochet I'm not going to consider the initial chain 2 as a double crochet in this pattern. So I'll be working to a double crochet in the first stitch as well. After completing 24 double crochet, I'm going to join at the top of the chain 2 using a slip stitch to finish off this row. Now let's work on the loop of the ornament. So I'm going to start in the same place where I did a slip stitch and I'm going to do chain 10. So in this round, I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm going to do a slip stitch on the next chain. So there we have found our loop to hang the ornament. So now I'm going to leave a long tail in this and I'm going to finish it off over here. We'll be using this tail to sew the front of the head to the back of the head. So make sure the tail is long enough. And then I'm going to weave in this tail. So now let's assemble the head of the snowman. So I have my front of the snowman and the back side of the snowman. I'm going to thread this long tail in a blunt tip needle and I'm going to position both the wrong sides together and begin sewing it up while sewing it up i'm just taking the back loops of both the front and the back side and i'm going to sew it up i'm going to sew it up all the way except a little portion over here so that we can insert and remove our photo easily Now let's work on the body of the snowman. So I'm taking my same white color yarn. I'm going to start off with a magic circle. I'm going to do chain one. And for row one, I'll do 12 double crochets into this ring. So now I'm going to pull the tail to close off this opening and I'm going to join at the top of the chain one that we did earlier using a slip stitch to finish my row one. Now let's start working on row two of the body of this snowman. So I'll start off this row using a chain two and I will do two double crochet in each stitch across. This row will have a total of 24 double crochet. And I will work two double crochet on the very first stitch as well. I'm not going to consider this chain two as a double crochet. After completing 24 double crochet, I'm going to join at the top of this chain to using a slip stitch and let's begin working on row 3. For row 3 also, I will start off with a chain 2 and I will do 2 double crochet in the very first stitch over here. Followed by 1 double crochet in the next stitch. I'll be repeating this pattern for this entire row and this row will have a total of 36 double crochet. The pattern is 2 double crochet in the same stitch 
followed by one double crochet in the next stitch I'll meet you at the end of this row once when I'm done with this 36 double crochet I'm gonna join at the top of this chain 2 using a slip stitch and I'm gonna finish off leaving a long tail so now we have completed one side of the body of the snowman make sure to crochet one more in the exact same pattern now let's assemble the body of the snowman and before sewing these two up together let's sew on the buttons of the snowman so I'm taking my black yarn and I've threaded in a blunt tip needle I'm gonna begin sewing up the patterns for the button I'm gonna sew it up in one side only after sewing on these buttons I'm gonna thread the long tail in a blunt tip needle I'm gonna place both the wrong sides together and begin sewing up the body of the snowman so now I have sewed up both the sides of the body. I'm going to leave in a tiny opening here so that we can attach our head over here. So now let's start working on the hat of the snowman. So I'm taking my black color yarn. I'm going to do a slip knot and chain 9. On the second chain from the hook I'll be doing one single crochet. And I will do one single crochet in each of the remaining chains. We'll have a total of 8 single crochet in this row. To do a single crochet, I'll insert my hook through the stitch. I'll do yarn over and pull through. Now I'll have 2 loops on my hook. I'll do yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is my single crochet. So now I have done a total of 8 single crochet. While working with black yarn, it is really hard to see the stitches so one tip it is if you can stretch it and look through some white background some light you can see the holes and you can start working on those stitches i'm gonna turn over my work and i will do slip stitch in the next two stitches this would be my row two and i will slip stitch again so that i am on the third stitch over here now i'm gonna do chain two and I will do a double crochet in the same stitch and I will do double crochet in the next three stitches to start off row three I will do chain two I will turn my work over and begin working on this four double crochet that we did earlier I'm going to do double crochet in all of these stitches this row will have a total of four double crochet and there we have finished our hat I'm gonna finish off over here leaving a long tail now I'm gonna do one more hat in the same pattern now I have done two pieces of hat to assemble this hat I'm gonna place both the wrong sides of the hat together and sew it up so now I have completed all the individual pieces of the snowman I have the hat head and the body it's time to assemble them to assemble them first I'm taking my body and I'm threading its tail in a blunt tip needle I'm gonna position the head in place and sew this up together so now I have attached the head onto the body and I have weaved the end now let's attach the hat so now I have completed the snowman photo ornament. I have sewed up all the pieces and weaved in all the ends. Our ornament looks like this. Now you can insert a photo through the opening over here and enjoy your personalized snowman ornament. I hope you'd crochet this along with me. Please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.